Now that mommy's gone, do you guys want to bring a snake upstairs? Yeah. A stay-at-home dad is a father who is the main caregiver of the children and is generally the homemaker of the household. As families have evolved, the practice of being a stay-at-home dad has become more common and socially acceptable. The number of stay-at-home dads is on the rise. They now make up just under 20% of parents who don't work outside the home. It's not an occupation you go to college for, nor one you can bone up on with online classes, nor is it something that young men dream of necessarily, but rather often arises from life circumstances. It's almost 100% on-the-job training and can be just as stressful and fulfilling as a nine to five. Hello, Hi, friends and family. Yes, stay at home dad today. Now I'm not a full time stay at home dad, of course, but I, I am half of the time, four to three days a week, four to three, three to four. Hey, welcome to the vlog. We're making videos every single day now. If you haven't turned on your notifications, make sure you do, so you make sure you get notified. Thank you guys that all bought merch the other day. I really appreciate it. There's always a link down in the description for that. If you wanna help support what we do, you appreciate what we do, and you wanna get something cool to wear, I don't have these shirts on there, but I got cool mugs, I got beanies, all that cool stuff. Anyway, I'm done selling you stuff. I thought it would be a fun subject to cover today since I am a stay-at-home dad today. Hillary is still out there, but she's leaving for work in just a few minutes, and it's gonna be me and the kids for the next six hours or so. Again, I'm not a full-time stay-at-home dad, but I do bring in 85% of the income as well as half the time be here with the kids. And so I'm, I've been trying to get my own business off the ground and working towards that, which anybody who owns their own business knows that you don't ever really clock out from. So I'm, I'm working every day of the week, having the kids sometimes. I'm not complaining here. I love what I'm doing. I love where it's going and I love the experiences that I'm having while this is all happening. But I found a few articles that I was reading this morning just on the subject. There was one that I came across that says, even though it's becoming more accepted, Stay-at-home dads often find themselves the target of criticism or judgment. The opinions of others can make stay-at-home dads feel like outcasts in the child-rearing world, and it can be hard not to snap back or feel beaten down. But how well you can handle such remarks can help you feel more comfortable in the role. So there, there were 10 misconceptions about stay-at-home dads, and I wanted to kind of roll through them and see if I can debunk them with my own experience, or if I can validate that they are not misconceptions. So I thought that'd be fun. Let's check it out. 10. He's sitting at home watching sports all day. Well, I, I don't have a TV. I've got some macrame hanging back there, no TV. Of course, I do have a phone, a computer. I don't happen to watch sports. I do watch a little YouTube from time to time, being that I'm here on YouTube, but <laughs> it's definitely not happening all day. So we can, we can rule that one out. Watching sports all day or watching anything all day is not really possible if you want to be having a nice stay-at-home dad experience. I'm not saying you couldn't do it. My own personal experience, not what's happening. Nine. My spouse would rather be home. Actually, we've talked about this and, uh, hold on, why don't we just get her before she leaves? So I was going down this list of like 10 misconceptions about stay-at-home dads. Okay. And I got to number nine and I was like, what? His spouse would rather be home. My spouse would rather be home. I know that's not true for you necessarily like 100% of the time, so I just. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't even need to work to help at all financially, you would still want to. I would still want to do something else besides be home all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very That's true. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you made like millions of dollars a year, what would I want to do? I'd probably teach yoga. <laughs> you know, or just like I would volunteer or like nanny. You know, I would definitely do something. I wouldn't just be like, I'm gonna go shopping every day and get facials and maybe like I do that once a month. <laughs> <laughs> Eight men would rather be in the office. Mm, I, I never wanted to be in an office before or after kids ever. Office, not for me. Seven men don't stay at home with the children. I mean, obviously we're proving that one wrong today. Number six, men can't watch the kids as well as women. That's definitely up for debate. Definitely one we could definitely debate. Who does it better? I'd say I'd do it different. Better? I don't know. I think it's a good balance to have dad doing what I do and then mom doing what she does. I'd say different. I wouldn't say as not can't do it as well. I'd say I'd do it as well, if not better, hmm? Five, he must have lost his job. No, uh, nope, definitely not. But uh, my mind, pretty often. Pretty often lose my mind. But the job, nope. Nope, still working, still working hard. For he must be looking for a job. Constantly. If you guys got any jobs out there, hit me up, I need one. Three, he must not have any motivation. I mean, sure. Two, so you're babysitting today. Mm, 
I've never looked at it that way. I, I always look at it, I'm, I'm with my kids. I mean, babysitting is when you're watching somebody else's kids, in my opinion. So, nope, not babysitting. We're canceling that one out too. One, he is not masculine. Whew! I mean, my hair is pretty long. And uh, I have a pretty hard time growing any real facial hair down here. Well, there is this though. Ooh! <laughs> Tie-dye shirts, hmm. To be honest, uh, changing diapers, being out with the kids, taking them shopping, going grocery shopping, taking them to the beach, taking them to the park, running around with them and doing all that stuff actually makes me feel like more of a man than if I didn't do that stuff. 100%. Give me a ride, daddy. <laughs> Couple of hippogriffs, huh? <laughs> Couple of hooky hoos, huh? <laughs> oh, you little ding ding. What are you crazy? Three is too loud. Drop it, darling. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? No, no, no. <laughs> Mushy. What do you know? Hey Noah, what do you, you know? <laughs> what do you what do you know? I know. Flies. What about flies? That they carry diseases and my favorite is the blue bottle. And they all are insects. Stop, T. And they... They're all what? They're all insects. Oh, insects. And that's come all here, I know. Mom. Come here. Well, what's next? Yay! Bye. 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 I love you. Where's your other shoe? Wish me lots of money. Bye. Okay, bye, Familia. Now that Mommy's gone, do you guys want to bring a snake upstairs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, which snake should we bring? How about Junior? Junior? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, do not try to take a snake away from this girl. You do, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. She loves her snake. Sorry, Daddy's gotta put the snake in there. <laughs> Gentle girl. Gentle girl. Very nice. Very nice. There's a completely sane and reasonable reason why my room looks like this right now. 